I've been learning ICT concepts for the past few days and I thought I'd share my understandings with all of you guys. So in this video, I wanted to talk about his first episode in this first series, the Market Maker Primer series, where he talks about equal highs and equal lows and why that's so important. So I just wanted to go over that with you guys, um, talk about what I've understood from it so far. We're going to go through some chart examples as well as some own examples that I've made from my notes. So we're going to go through that. So hopefully you guys will learn something. Maybe you can give me some feedback on maybe things I'm going wrong in. That's the plan for this video. So I hope you enjoy. Subscribe, like the video and let's get into it. So pretty much what I understood from the first video is that when you see equal highs or lows in the market, then they're very important as their targets for liquidity. And what I basically understood is, so for example, if we see this, something like that in the market, right? Now these lows are pretty equal. I mean, you can probably see that this one is lower than this one. However, they're relatively equal, as he says. There is um, liquidity underneath these lows. There's liquidity under here, right? So there's a lot of money because let's say you're using support and resistance. That's like the most common example. If you're using support and resistance, then this will be your support, right? And you'll be looking to, um, as price comes down, to buy here, carry on to that, right? However, your, uh, your stop loss will be in this area, right underneath these lows. That will be your stop loss, right? So the, the theory basically is that there's liquidity under here. There's a lot of stop losses underneath here. So what price likes to do is it likes to target those stop losses. So it'll go, it'll take everyone out basically who has their stop losses underneath these two relatively equal lows. It'll take them out and then right after that, it'll carry on the move. Because to make a move, it needs money behind it, right? It needs... It needs like money to fuel that, right? To fuel that big move. So in order for that, it needs to get these uh, stop losses and things like that, like stop hunts. And the same thing goes with equal highs. If we have equal highs like that, relatively equal highs, something like this. Then you can assume that there will be liquidity above these highs. Like this line is basically liquidity. People's stop losses will be there. So I'll just do this dollar sign. There'll be liquidity. There. There'll be money there because people who are selling here and looking when price comes back here again to this resistance to look to sell again that area their stop losses will be above here right because they're expecting the market to go down they're expecting this area to be safe so what price likes to do is it likes to go up it likes to take them out everyone's losing everyone's losing everyone's losing all of their stop losses are taken out and then after that's done it likes to get that big move because now it's got that money behind it to drive price down and target more equal highs and lows. That's pretty much the theory behind it. Now what I want to do is I want to take you through some examples that I made and put in my notion. And yeah, we're going to go through that just now. So this is my notion. And basically this is my examples of equal highs and lows. So these are the examples that I've made. So this red area is basically the Asian session. So what I've seen here, as you can see, is buy side liquidity. That basically means that above here, these relatively equal highs, high one, high two, there'll be a lot of stop losses placed because people expecting this resistance to hold and drive price down and down. So when London opens and everything, price comes up, takes all of these out, right? Um, all of the stop losses that I showed in the example, and then it proceeds to go down and down and down. And this creates the high of the day. Look at this perfect example, equal lows. One, two, three. This is like perfect resist, um, sorry, not resistance, support, as you could say one two three touches perfect support people looking to buy probably target here or something a lot of stop losses underneath this these lows what does price do comes down takes all of this out collects the money collects the orders and goes to the upside and you can see this everywhere look at this start of london equal highs right um stop losses above here what does price do takes them out and fuels the move to go down and you can see this everywhere look at this equal highs takes it out, um, equal highs, takes it out, uh, moves down. I mean, the more you see it, like it's everywhere, right? So check this out, two equal lows. What does price do? And it even takes out these equal highs here first. It takes out these equal highs, comes to these equal lows, takes them out, and look at that move that it does, it spikes up. So that's pretty much what I understood from equal highs, equal lows. This was the first episode in the market, market maker primer series. And yeah, I'm just banging all of these courses out and there's so much to learn and it makes so much sense, but you have to implement it because when you implement it, it starts to make even more sense and just uh, putting on your notion, make a journal of it, things like that. And yeah, this it really, really helps. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that 
and next episode i'll be going through something else that i've learned another one of his concepts something like that and the same format i'll go through my examples as well and probably some chart examples so that's the plan i hope you guys enjoyed this video and took something out of it i'm going to be studying ict thoroughly and sharing my understanding with all of you guys on a weekly basis so yeah i'll be coming out with videos talking about different concepts things i've learned my progression in my trading journey things like that so hopefully you guys can take some value out of it and implement that in your own trading journey nothing more to say from my side hope you enjoyed once again make sure to smash the like button so this video gets to more people and helps the youtube algorithm and i will see you guys in the next one happy trading guys